130 miles an hour, okay? I wouldn't be out here standing if this was 130 mile an hour wind. It would be impossible for me to stand without being uh, tethered down. Uh, you've probably seen some reports on the Weather Channel uh, of us, some of us out there in the wind tunnels uh, being blown around. There's no chance you can stand in this. But now being absolutely hammered by this eye wall with a rain that is incredibly intense, with a wind that's equaling it. And we're hoping now that we'll, we'll get through this. Uh, it will minimize the flooding. That's, oh man, just look at that. Just look at that shot right there down US 41. You can barely see what's down there, right? Uh, the visibility's down to probably about 100 yards or less. Uh, look at the trees just getting buffeted by this wind-driven rain. It is remarkable to see. I'm going to turn my back to the camera here so you might be able to get a little better audio from me at this point. I'm still looking across the street. I'm looking at some of the business here. The businesses are doing well. I look at our shelter. It's still doing well. Uh, no damage to it. Even the awning that is on it is, is doing pretty well right now. Uh, some of the street signs are starting to bend. Some of the trees really starting to bend now. And at some point, there'll be a breaking point uh, for those trees. It's just how much give do they have. Most of the palms have a lot of give. They sway quite a bit. There's not a lot of uh, surface area for the winds to blow them over. So they may lose their tops in some instances, but they won't necessarily uh, topple over. Wow, intense, no question. This is serious. Uh, you know, so many of you that have watched, uh, you know, the Weather Channel at home uh, for the better part of a week, very anxious, very nervous about what was going to happen. You've watched the forecast. You've watched the radar. Uh, you know, you've probably prayed a little bit. Uh, this, is the, this is what hurricanes do. This is why, you know, we have the best meteorologists in the world that forecast them. This is why we have uh, pilots that risk their lives flying into them to observe them. And the, the goal is to protect lives and the goal is to protect property. And, you know, there, there are people that dedicate their lives to doing uh, these things. Uh, and as, as meteorologists that broadcast on television, for us, bringing you these pictures brings it home. That's why we stand out here and we bring these images to you so you realize what these storms are like and you, it, something clicks, right? Something clicks and says, now I get it. Now I get what a hurricane is. Maybe I'm just going or now, it, now I get it. These winds that we're getting right now, 70-ish, uh, 80-ish miles an hour with the highest gust uh, now being over 140 miles an hour, uh, Dr. Navarro, which to me is just, I mean, it's just absolutely insane. But we know the gusts can be higher. I know our sustained winds, Dr. Navarro, right? Like 120. But we know the gusts can go significantly higher than that. Yeah, Mike, even in the area of tropical storm force winds, this is the real danger. We could be seeing gusts much higher than that. Again, with this threat of this system and a storm this big, those winds are huge. I mean, this could really get up. And I was trying to look here at the information coming in to get an idea of what it is over you right now. But easily, we could be seeing gusts into the 100 mile per hour range. Those winds are absolutely screaming. And again, that system, that eye wall is still making its way to the north of you. It's not quite cleared out yet, but we're seeing it move ever so slowly to your north. Uh, this is <laughs> just, just when you think you might get a break, Irma's got one more last gust to give you, right? This is now uh, as intense as the winds have been since we've been out here. Now gusting really, so now I'm starting to see more things fly, right? Now we're starting to see a tree debris that starts to fly. You can barely see anything down US 41 with the intensity of the wind and the rain right now. This is a category three. This is what a category three is. This is urban land of Southwest Florida. This is what we prep for. This is what we forecast for. And these are the winds that we always hope we won't get. Uh, but we 
we know at some point in time hurricanes are inevitable and this is this is what we have to live with you know this is a an amazing planet that we live on and the things that it can do uh will just floor you sometimes that's what's happening right now with this category three that's uh, coming through naples right now hey mike i'm looking at the latest scan here and it looks like Things might be starting to clear out. Again, just with the latest scan, lightening up a little bit. You Viewers at home, if you're watching, Mike is bracing, literally. These strong winds are not letting up. This eye wall is literally right over Naples. Mike, you're almost there. The, eye, the clearing is literally just off to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hang in there. You are you are almost there. Uh, we're, we're seeing it clear I, out. <laughs> I'm with... Doc, I'm with you, man. I'm doing my best. This is... This is it. This truly is exhausting. Sometimes I feel like I'm in good shape. I'm not so sure anymore. Uh, this is uh, this is an eye wall. This is truly an eye wall here. Uh, and now the intensity of it is, is right upon us. Now right here in the heart of Naples, right along US 41 Tamiami Trail. Uh, you know, if you go down this road, you know, you head down. Uh, to the right, you'll get into all the beaches, you'll go down to the mall straight ahead. Uh, so many people that come down here for vacation are familiar with the beautiful beaches they have. So many people that have homes there obviously know uh, the deal. But I look down again, I keep scanning because I'm always watching for flying debris. I've seen very little, you know, just bits and pieces here and there. The trees are doing... trees are doing pretty well, uh, which I can say the same for myself, uh, but ultimately, we're going to get out of this. This is just, this is only going to last for a few hours, we're going to be out of this, and we're going to have an opportunity to take a breather, right? But right now, it's full force hurricane, no question about it, and the beating that Marco Island Naples, Everglades City, Fort Myers are going to take is going to be something you're not ever going to forget. And then when you've got the story that you tell your children, your grandchildren, you're going to say, yes, I did live through a Category 3 hurricane. Uh, and this is what that is. This gives you a really good idea of categories of hurricanes, right? We're 120 mile an hour hurricane with gusts that are a little bit higher than that. Uh, so we're, we're mid-grade category three, okay? And then you can even make the argument that this hurricane may be weakened at this point, but maybe we were even a, a low-grade category three. That is what you're seeing right now uh, on your screen. And I'm sure for so many of you at home, you're watching this going, I'm scared, you know? I'm scared about what my town is gonna look like. I evacuated. I'm scared about what I'm gonna come back and see. Uh, rightfully so. I think I, I probably would be too if, you know, I had property here, I had loved ones here, and I, you know, I'd probably be scared to death for them, that's for sure. Uh, so, shelter in place. That's what we're doing right now. Everyone in Shelly County is a shelter in place right now. Uh, in a safe location, sturdy building. Uh, it, it's good to know that many of the buildings here are at code. A lot of them out of concrete and so that can take an immense amount of wind hey mike we're getting the latest information here sustained winds at 95 miles per hour that's likely what you're facing greg where was that report out of uh, yeah. the airport out of the airport yeah. sustained winds at 95. out of the airport yeah totally believe that uh this is this is as nasty as it gets uh, for, but uh, for category for category three of this intensity, think about think about if this were a cat four or a cat five. Look at what you're seeing right now. This is a this is a mid-grade hurricane. Okay, this is not a cat four or cat five. This is a lower end. You could argue category three. Just imagine. You know, Irma at its height. Remember when Irma had 185 miles per hour winds? Imagine what 
what that would look like now. Uh, because you just said, Dr. Navarro, okay, winds right now are 95 miles per hour. Double that. Imagine what this looks like out here. I, I, I can't, I can't imagine. It, what I'm looking at right now is, is unbelievable. I, I mean, looking at off of, uh, it's 41 there, I believe, you're on, right? Just looking off in the distance. I'm, I'm, and uh, guys at home, I'm watching Mike, and he's literally just trying to stand up. You know, he's trying to just stand. Imagine a storm here coming in at higher than that. You know, again, a Category 4 or 5 storm. Mike, lucky that this thing has downgraded to Category 3, but even still, the winds there that you're seeing are unbelievable. Yeah, it is. It's This is real life, right? Uh, you know, this is when you... When we hear these, yeah, the Weather Channel, listen, we're number freaks, right? We spit out a lot of numbers at you. We throw out a number out there like uh, 100 miles an hour. Does anybody really, and even as meteorologists, do we really comprehend 